Hi everyone, my name is Medzi Boloko. In this video, I'm going to start a series of videos where we're going to walk through the steps of setting up a SD1 lab in uh, GNS3. So basically, we're going to follow the steps of the deployment guide and uh, you can get the, 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 the guide from Google and you can follow all the, the steps with me. Basically, what you need is, the, um, is that you need the um, version 16.3.2 uh, of the controllers and you also need version 17.1.0 or, or 17.1.0 2.0 for the v ages because the reason is that uh, we we are going to 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 upload the one age list uh, manually so we're going to upload the, the the one age list manually on the v manage so that's why we're going to start with uh, version 16 3.2 on the controllers because if you don't have this version, then you're going to have to, 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 you're going to need a smart account with Cisco and possible to do the same, to get the same result if you start with version 16.3.2. Uh, and um, just to let you know, I have a server, a physical server, that's why I have, I have deployed all the, 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 the appliances that you can see here. But if you, you're using a PC with uh, 32 uh, gig of RAM of, or 16 gig of RAM, you might be uh, constrained to, to deploy only uh, a couple of nodes. But I have enough memory of uh, RAM and that's why I'm doing this. So what we're going to do, I'm going to, to, to to deploy the V, the controllers and two V edges with you. And then I will do the, the, the other V edges in the background. And then as soon as uh, we will be done with the, the controllers, I will uh, get rid of this weird topology to build uh, the proper topology with um, an MPLS, a, a MPLS side and an internet side. So uh, that's being said, let's go ahead and start now. So uh, the first thing that you need to do, you need to log in and start with vManage. It's going to ask you the type of um, storage that you need. I'm going to say one and say yes say yes and that's going to, to roll up okay so after booting up the vManage now I I have my bootstrap configs and I've already applied this line on vManage and that's why you can see I, I got interface ETH2 on VPN0. VPN0, VPN for uh, SD1 is, kind of, it's, it's just like a VRF, so uh, it's the same concept as a VRF. So I got uh, this on the vManage and on the v, uh, vBound I already applied this line and as you can see I got this. Uh, let me uh, show you the DHCP inter, uh, IP address. So as you can see for ETH1, I got this IP address and it's a good time to talk about IP addressing. So basically in order to start before moving to the official topology, I'm using uh, uh, um, this side ETH1 uh, to connect to the GNS3 uh, NAT, that's why I can have access to uh, to the internet, and then also I can access the GUI. So I I got this IP address from my DHCP, and then I used it to log on to the GUI of vManage. As you can see, I have access to vManage, and then. Uh, on one side, we're going to have the public internet and uh, that side is going to use 
uh, this block. So um, 192.100.1.0 forward slash 24. And we also have the management side with this block. So um, after, I think that we're ready to move on. And basically what needs to be done is to apply these configs on vManage. And what you need to pay attention to when you're starting your, your to build your, uh, your network, you need to make sure that there are some um, settings that needs to match. The system IP is kind of like a router ID for BGP or, or other router protocols routing protocols and um, the site ID you need to give like if all, all your controllers are located at the same location and you uh, they are on-prem instead of on the cloud managed by Cisco in this case they are on-prem so we're going to use site ID 101 and the organization name is going to be CITS and this needs to be the same across the board and then I have the VBond IP address and the VBond IP address needs to be the same on all your equipment across the, uh, the, the SD1 fabric. So um, as you can see, that's why I already put it here. And then um, we need to go on VManage and adjust some settings. So let's do that now. We need to type in the name of our, our organization. Like I said, it is going to be CITS. I can save. And then the name of v, uh, the IP address of VBond. We can put it here. And then we need to make sure that certification authorization is set to manual. So that say that said we are good to go for that and then here you can see uh, the ip address of vbond is the should be the same and this is for the vpn 512 is for the out of band uh, so we're using it for management so let me go ahead and apply all, all, all these lines like i said this is the host name the system ip site ID you 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 need to give site ID based on location and my uh, controllers will have 101 branch 55 five, and then data the data center I will find uh, a site ID so yeah let's go ahead so on vManage we can take this let's check what's going on Okay, so sorry. Config. So let's apply these lines on vManage. Copy and commit. And then on vbond, on vbond we have the same uh, settings, the name, the system IP. What you need to pay attention to is this line because this line makes the same appliance that we're using for the vagers. You see? And we're going to apply it on the vbond and this is making the this vh to act as a vbond to play the vbond role. So let's go ahead and do that. We can commit. And for the vsmart, and the vsmart, uh, it's going to be basically the vbond IP is going to be needs to be the same across the board. So let's apply this P. Commit. 
let me try to ping ping 192 100 11 I have access I can ping uh, v manage and let's go ahead and uh, I think this is branch 51 so as you can see the I I have the name the host name the system IP and then the site ID as it is branch 5 I gave uh, site ID 5 and then the vbond and uh, the IP address of the interface uh, facing the public internet and then also the management interface so that's it that's what you need to do on your uh, in order to to, boot, to to bootstrap your appliances and then let's uh, meet on the next session to start with uh, certificates uh, registrations thank you